Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. Today we're going to be making a spicy herb chicken. And this is what it looks like. You guys can see how juicy and colorful it is. I'm going to be serving it up with some, some basmati rice and potato salad. And some thinly sliced cabbage. And this is to celebrate our 14k subs guys we did it again we reached 14k subs today and i want to say thank god for bringing me this far and thank you all for your continued love and support so let me show you how i prepare this deliciousness right here these are the ingredients we will need for our chicken i have some garlic broad thyme rosemary still fresh in the garden although we had two days of snow. I have some ginger, some oregano, and some cilantro. Those are my fresh ingredients. I'm gonna finely chop to add to our chicken. But before I do that, I wanna show you how I'm preparing the chicken. So this is my chicken I have here. And I'm using drumstick. I cut the chicken drumstick because I find when you do it like this, the seasoning get into the chicken and out of the chicken instead of when you cook it whole like that. You can also do it this way, but for me, I find the flavor for the chicken is super, super delicious and it cooks very fast. I also have a recipe uh, preparing the chicken like this for fried chicken and it was super delicious, crunchy and cooked right through. So right at the side of the chicken like this, you're gonna go in with your knife and you're gonna slice it like that, down a little. So you make an opening here. And you just wanna split it right beside the bone in the middle like that. And then you wanna do the same for this side here, just like that. And you split your chicken open like this. So now I'm gonna go in with all my ingredients and I'll marinate it for a bit so all the ingredients can well and incorporate in the chicken. I'll leave all the measurements and all the ingredients I'm using today in the description box below. So we have all our ingredients to season the chicken. I have some tomato paste, some yogurt, salt, paprika, and I chopped up all my fresh ingredients. I usually like to use blended ingredients, but today I'm chopping them finely. I want to see those pieces of seasoning when I finish cooking the chicken. So into this bowl, we're going to go in with all of our ingredients. Salt, paprika for heat, and we're going to go in with our yogurt here. And yogurt really helps to tenderize the chicken. We're gonna go in with some tomato paste. That's gonna give a beautiful flavor and a nice color. And we will add some olive oil to help combine all that goodness together. We're gonna give this a nice mix. And from my ingredients here alone, you guys will be able to tell the flavor of this chicken and the aroma in my kitchen is really beautiful. Did I rhyme just now? <laughs> so this looks amazing. A little bit more of the olive oil. And then we will add this to our chicken. So let me go in here and add that. And I'll mix that in well and leave it to sit for a few minutes before we put it into our oven. So I just marinate the chicken. We're gonna cover it and leave it 50 minutes to half an hour before we start the cooking process. So to go with our herb roasted chicken, I am preparing some basmati rice. I just added a teaspoon of salt, bay leaf, some clove, and we're gonna let it cook until the rice is beautifully done. So I have some potato salad in the making. I'm gonna add water to the pot.
I'm gonna add some salt and we'll let the potato cook until it's nice and tender. After half an hour, I'm gonna remove the chicken and add it to a baking dish. We wanna spread them out nicely. Uh, what are you smelling? Rosemary? Yeah. Put them over here and I'm, I'm gonna let all of it fit right in this dish because once they start cooking, they'll shrink up a little. But you guys think about the flavor that this chicken will have. It'll be so delicious. And every part of it will cook perfectly well. So we're gonna put this into the oven and we will cook it for about 20 minutes and then we'll flip them over for another 20 to 30 minutes. Our potatoes are done. They're nice and soft. I'm gonna go in here with a half a cup of green peas and I have frozen green peas. This will allow the green peas to cook and have a nice bright color. I just strained my potato. I'm gonna go in with some salted butter. I added one grated carrot, just a little bit of mayo. And I like to put more sour cream into my potato salad than mayo. So I'm gonna put a nice amount of sour cream. So garlic powder, onion powder, and notice that I'm not adding any salt. I already add salt. When I was boiling it, my butter have salt and the seasoning have salt. Parsley flake. And we're gonna nicely mix this up. Remember, this is not a mashed potato. This is a potato salad. So after 25 minutes of cooking the chicken, look how nice they're looking. I'm just flipping them now and we're gonna allow all this liquid in the bottom to dry up. Our chicken will be ready in the next 25 to 30 minutes. Our chicken is ready, nice and juicy, cooked in a 350 degree oven until all the liquid is fully evaporated and it is delicious this way. Let me serve it up and give you the review. So Natalie will be our taste tester tonight. And I gave her a little bit of everything. Let me see what she's gonna dig in for. It smells good already. First, it smells good? Okay, yeah. Natalie, go in and let us know what dig. you think about the dinner. I'm gonna dig into the rice. Okay. Should I, I'm gonna take some gravy. Mm-hmm. Mmm, that is so delicious. Yeah. Yeah, the gravy from the chicken is really spicy. Mm -hmm. It gives the the rice some nice kicks into it. And let me taste some of the potato. Mmm. That is so creamy <laughs> and so soft. I like the green peas and the carrot. Let me take another bite. I'm surprised that you didn't go in for the chicken first. I'm gonna put... And that cabbage is really crunchy. It's really crunchy. And now I'm gonna dig into the chicken. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's nice and soft. Look at that. And it's steaming. Steaming hot, right? Be careful, Mama. Yeah. Look I how know soft this will be is. a good chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. The nice spicy taste, and I can taste the rosemary. Oh yeah? Yes. Okay. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you can get this latest video. And make sure you try out this recipe because it's so yummy and tasty. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.